Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Sales Psycho's Actionable Marketing Series. This is Pragadesh Jaychandran, a product marketer here at Sales Psycho. We are living in a technologically well-connected world more ever than before. Yet, we are finding communication challenging. Especially on the business front, be it a startup or an enterprise, establishing and practicing effective communication has been a struggle. Even though it bears multiple vertical and horizontal benefits to the organization to understand why businesses struggle and what they can do to communicate effectively we asked the communication experts from three major facets internal external and corporate communication pooja mittal manager ar relations global corporate communication zoho prasant salvanayagam marketing manager zoho click and madangi kumar marketing manager zoho sales iq shared their thoughts on corporate internal and external communication respectively this session kayas to cohesion is a compilation of the discussion we had with the experts and it is packed with actionable insights for you to implement right away and achieve effective communication to drive organizational growth let's jump in internal communication is the communication that happens within the organization it falls under two buckets vertical communication the top to bottom communication and horizontal communication the peer to peer communication the whole idea of having a robust internal communication strategy is to make sure that no one is left behind and everyone in an organization gets the information that they are supposed to know so internal communication is all about the efforts the policies and the practices adopted by companies in making sure that all necessary information is known to all in the mid 19th century companies used newsletters and editorials to convey messages to workers it started as a one way communication mode from the top and slowly evolved as a two way communication methodology so internal communication is no more an editorial communication where information flows from the top to bottom but it's a means of providing tools and solutions to make sure communication happens always top to bottom bottom to top and peer to peer companies have offices where workforce uh, represents different geographies example zoho we work from different locations and all these workers gets united through an effective internal communication tool so we are in the midst of a phase where internal communication plays a major role in a productive workspace By external communication, I would relate to prospects and customers. For a business of any size or industry type, it's critical to bring in more prospects and at the same time retain existing customers. Both acquisition and retention are equally important for a business to thrive. In today's business scenario, instant communication is key to keeping both prospects and customers intact to a product. Say I'm a prospect looking for a live chat solution. I expect the product team to listen to my requirement and help me evaluate the product better. On the other hand, being an existing customer, I would need immediate assistance for an issue or a question that I have with respect to the product. In both these cases, instant communication is key. Users no longer have time or the patience to wait for emails and get their responses. Also, they prefer to be communicated in their preferred medium rather than going to a completely different channel just for this purpose. So, I would say providing instant communication support in a user's preferred channel or medium is a major change that I see in external communication and adapting to this would have businesses grow and achieve their goals corporate communication um, evolved i think way back in the 12th century and from then on um, the early days of traditional media to today i think things have drastically changed in the digital and the social landscape um the newer facets of corporate uh, communication involve uh, analyst relations media relations thought leadership content development customer advocacy launch execution crisis communication and anything that involves talking to the internal 
communicating to the internal or the external stakeholders i think managing that messaging is what corporate communication does so if you see simply put i would say um, there can be communication happening in parts but till all the ingredients come together you don't get the pizza ready for you to eat similarly till all these parts don't come together and fall in line we do not have corporate communications the challenges organizations face when there are communication gaps two types of challenges when uh, the policy is set where the organization is not clearly communicated down to the last person the work culture gets a major hit people will not know how uh, they will be recognized how will they will be promoted the do's and don'ts corporate behavior etiquette goes for a toss and in the long run they will not have the heart to contribute to the company there will also be problems if people could not communicate properly with each other especially when hybrid work is adopted by many companies employees will look for means to chat with one another call one another have a solution where they can have group meetings online conferences and so on basically to collaborate with one another if an organization does not have an internal communication software collaboration takes a major hit and in this case they will not have the heart to contribute and collaborate well with the team so in order for people to work to be productive it is imperative that organizations make sure that internal communication processes are, are set up and internal communication tools are in place zooclick is one of the finest internal communication tools available in the market today for any business to succeed bridging communication gaps with their prospects and customers is very crucial firstly uh, customers or prospects may lose trust on the brand uh, this may lead to decreased sales and increased uh, likelihood of them moving to other competitors and uh, this can also lead to decreased uh, sales increased complaints uh, social media backlash uh, negative publicity etc so more importantly customers who feel unheard may become vocal in their dissatisfaction in social media and other platforms so this may also further damage the organization's reputation so rebuilding this lost trust and reputation will take a lot of time and resources for businesses and sometimes some damages may also be irreparable so it's very critical for businesses to bridge these communication gaps promptly as and when they arise people connect with each other hence communication needs real connections poor communication or no communication often creates a tense environment it's very important to understand and overcome any form of challenge based on audience we are targeting corporate communication streamlines this by making sure there is a sync between internal audience what they think and how the external audience react to it by making sure um, we have the right culture uh, the context in communication and of course easy access to information which binds the organization together its policies and finally passing that on um, to external kind of removes all the communication gaps if any of these fall through it i think that's where uh, the communication challenges start existing if we kind of cover this it brings up everything together how can organizations turn chaotic environment into a cozy environment organizations should have clear communication strategies when employees are onboarded communicate about the policies clearly to them this will give them a sense of belonging to the organization that they work for when work policies are not clearly defined employees tend to work in ambiguity at the same time make sure that everyone in the team feel that they are heard if they feel that they are not heard then they will have less drive and will start to distance themselves from contributing at work provide mechanisms for better collaboration in zooclick every team work happens in a place called channels where the entire team is present take for example marketing for any marketing campaign the entire team will know the steps the plans 
and the campaign name and when the campaign is executed. Zoclick is also, it helps you to chat, get on calls, have video meetings. And what I have found is when people from different locations communicate with each other through video calls or through audio calls, they tend to send and receive messages clearly. So ambiguity is thrown out of the window. Decisions are taken at a rapid rate and work gets done faster. Even for conflict management, employee one-on-one -on -one communication, appraisal meetings, feedback sessions, team meetings, Zoho Click acts as an effective internal communication tool and collaboration happens like never before and it sets the tone for a positive work culture. Businesses can use customer engagement platforms like Zoho Sales IQ to bridge external communication gaps. Even at Zoho, marketing sales and support specialists across the 55 products like uh, Zoho CRM, Desk, Click and Zoho One use Sales IQ for their everyday operations. So one important feature that can help solve the communication issue we're discussing right now would be our bots. Uh, we have a codeless bot builder which is more or less like a drag and drop interface that can be built on any website, uh, mobile app or in any other social media platform like Instagram, uh, Facebook or uh, WhatsApp. So this saves a lot of manual effort and time and at the same time answering customer or prospect queries promptly. Additionally, uh, we also have an AI powered bot called the answer bot that can help answer redundant questions right from your own resource library. For more complex queries, uh, we have an inbuilt audio call and screen sharing feature that support specialists can use to resolve customer queries quite easily. So these features uh, help you resolve instantly uh, communication issues uh, rather than waiting for long email exchanges. Uh, looking after how we communicate with many of our external stakeholders and ensure that we tell a cohesive story with an impactful narrative about our brand and products is a key. It's about making sure that each of these aspects, right from the product or to the brand or to an overall story that we plan to tell, resonates to how our customers are liking using our products to understanding our brand. This calls for bringing together forces both internally and understanding people internally to make sure all parts are touched and covered. Unless this happens, the whole cohesive story would become a confusion. Impact of social media on communication strategies. People love to be recognized. One feature I love in the product Zoho Connect is a kudos feature. I use this feature to praise a colleague in public by giving an appreciation badge to them. This definitely boosts employee morale of that particular person. Praise in public and correct a person in private is my motto. And these two software apps, Connect and Click, has made it possible for me to implement these two ideologies easily. There are challenges in usage of social media with respect to internal communication because Sometimes employees might end up sharing internal data or confidential information in public channels like their personal LinkedIn profiles or on Twitter. So it is imperative for organizations to draw the line that uh, acts as a leash on what could be shared and what shouldn't be. What I've personally seen is that when an employee is given a free hand to express themselves in social media and when they are matured, they will also start working well. Social media can also overwhelm employees with too much information and notifications, causing them to feel stressed or anxious. When the organizations that you represent is attacked by public on social media, it must stress the employees too. So as a part of internal communication messaging, the employees need to be fed with information that will help them in reputation management and in their social media conception too, avoid uh, mental fatigue. The clearer the internal communication is and more transparent the work culture is. The employees will have better morale and they will be a voice for the company in social media. Otherwise, companies will end up getting bad ratings in workplace rating sites 
and be bashed by exiting employees on social media. In other words, the bad internal communication is, the worse will be the work culture and the reputation of the company goes for a toss in social media. There are multiple advantages when it comes to social media for external communication. The first and foremost would be the reach. They allow for instant communication with a global audience uh, reaching broader demographics. Second, uh, social media interactions enable real-time engagement uh, with prospects and customers. It's more of a real-time feedback and interaction session for businesses to better understand their audience. As I had mentioned while discussing the challenges, social media has become a platform for users to voice out their opinion or feedback about a product, be it good or bad. Businesses can use this in the right way to build a good reputation for themselves. Uh, it's also a cost-effective way compared to paid advertising methods or uh, PRs. Similarly, like I mentioned, users want to be contacted in their preferred medium. Uh, businesses should be equipped to contact them through that medium rather than asking them to come to a completely different uh, uh, platform. Uh, say I'm a WhatsApp user. A product or a service that I use should be able to send me new deals, uh, product updates or uh, answer any concern or question I have in that particular platform itself. Uh, businesses should understand and uh, be able to adapt to this change and uh, adjust their communication strategies accordingly. Many years ago, it was face-to-face -face communication that was known to be most impactful. It has evolved so much today and the current wave of communication is social media. It really is ramping up. Simply put, I see content, creativity, conversation and conversion as the few C's for social media strategy. Making sure that these C's are used in the right context at the right time and for the right audience really makes it impactful. It also is important that we know this and then we create a campaign around it. Upcoming tech changes uh, that I'm excited about. Uh, rather than talking about upcoming changes, I want to stress on the current dynamic phase we are in. We are at a crucial juncture where AI tools are taking center stage. Internal communication tools are being strengthened by AI. Automation of work is the name of the game these days. Hard work is getting replaced by smart work. And life will get better for organizations that use an internal communication tool that incorporates the latest features in the market. And I have to do a soft sell here. Zoho Click is one such internal communication tool that is now embracing AI in its armory. Try it out. Thank you for your time. Two trends that uh, I look at are uh, personalization and uh, of course, uh, AI and bots. So personalized communication has become very important. Uh, businesses uh, should tailor their communication strategies uh, based on individual uh, interests and preferences. Uh, for example, uh, if I'm browsing for an electronic item uh, in an e-commerce website, the business should be able to send me recommendations or uh, get me new deals on uh, similar products. This will increase customer engagement and loyalty. The next one is of course chatbots. Uh, bots in websites and messaging apps have found to uh, offer uh, quicker customer support and uh, reduce MTTR. And with the holiday season approaching, uh, businesses should make sure uh, they are available to their customers round the clock and uh, bots can definitely give them a big helping hand. Methods or medium of communication may come and go, be it face to face or today's social media communication. I believe it's just a wave of change, but always the key here is to keep up with the change and making sure the intent, the target audience and the message is clearly defined and also understood. Setting the right expectation and making sure the tools are defined, you know, for what kind of communication, how we need to go about is really important. 
once we have these ground rules set it makes it much more um easy and un- uh, simple to understand how this whole flow works the more we start communicating be it you know synchronously or asynchronously be it internal or external stakeholders i think the whole process gets better there hope everyone found the session helpful and actionable when businesses look at the performance reports rarely miscommunication gaps are factored in as one of the reasons for their highs and lows but it is the cost of poor communications report estimates miscommunication could cost around $400,000 per year for a firm with 100 employees and around $60 million per year for an enterprise our communication experts revealed what businesses should do to bridge this communication gap and the tools you'd need we highly recommend you to implement them right away and drive organizational growth thank you for joining us